Good morning, good morning. To God be the glory for all the things that he has done and is doing in our lives. Again, we're thankful that you have joined us on this worship Sunday. Uh, we're thankful for your presence here today. We are virtual on this, this Sunday. We're uh, glad that you are tuned in with us online via Facebook or via uh, YouTube. We thank you so much again for your blessings of your presence on today. Listen, Mount Olive is in a great place right now. We are just ecstatic about what God is doing for us. And this year, our focus, our theme is we will walk by faith. And it's, it means a lot to what we're doing here at Mount Olive. God has blessed us to continue to move forward in this ministry and we're thankful that now for us to move to the next level it's going to take a faith walk and uh, these last few weeks we've been preaching and teaching about faith and so on today we want to continue with uh, that focus our scripture today will be found in Mark the 10th chapter Mark 10 and verse 52. Mark 10 and verse 52. Reading from the New King James Version of the Bible, uh, these words are written. Then Jesus said to him, Go, go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Listen, I want to talk to uh, those of you who are here today. I want to talk from a, a specific subject on today. Listen, God has manifested himself here at Mount Olive and part of our focus as we continue to walk by faith is that God has allowed us to be specific in our prayers about our sick. Be specific in our prayers about our shut-in. And, and be specific in our prayers about those who are going through bereavement. And I want to be specific in my preaching today. And I want to speak just for a moment from the subject, healed by faith. Mm -hmm. Healed by faith. Amen. There, there, there's a story in, in Greek mythology about a king by the name of Midas. It is believed that he lived sometime in the second millennium before Christ. Uh, story goes that King Midas did a favor for one of the Greek gods by the name of a Dionysus. And, and, and for that favor, the, the God granted King Midas a wish. The king asked that uh, whatever he could touch, it would turn to gold. The king uh, it was in love with money. He enjoyed gold and he, he asked that uh, his wish be granted that whatever he put his hands on, it would turn to gold. The Greek God granted his wish and everything the king touched, it turned to gold. Hence, we get the adage, the minus touch. He went home and touched his chairs. His chairs turned to gold. He, he went home and he touched tables and tables turned to gold. He touched cups and, and curtains and everything that he touched, it turned to gold. He was excited that, 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 he, that he asked his servants to, to have a great feast, prepare him a, a great feast so they could celebrate this newfound fame, this new gift. And, and, and when the food was done, the king sat down to eat, but uh, when he touched his food, his food turned to gold. He began to worry, and he even tried to lean over and tear the meat with his teeth. But when his, when his teeth touched the meat, 
the meat time to go. Because of this, the story goes that the king died of starvation. He had all the gold he wanted, but the gold could not save his life. Ladies and gentlemen, be careful what you ask for. Because what you want may not be what you need. The king allowed his greed to mask his wisdom. Some of us struggle in our prayers because we want God to grant us what we want instead of what we need. Mm -hmm. the, if the Lord can get me what I need, uh, I, 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 I can get enough need and have enough faith to get what I want. I, I don't need a Midas touch. Uh, just grant me the ability uh, to have the wisdom and the knowledge to get things done so I can get what I want. Uh-huh. Uh. Prayers, prayers. Prayer requests, praying. Praying for what we want. Ladies and gentlemen, it's human nature. Praying for what we need is spiritual growth. But praying for what God wants us to have, that's faith. Mm -hmm. Faith requires knowing that what you want and what God wants may not, may be two totally different things, but you got to keep walking anyway. God can reveal himself in your circumstances so that others can get blessed. That sickness that God brought you out of, it was for your healing, but it was for somebody else's salvation. My God. You, you, you might be the only miracle someone sees in order to find Jesus. See, we can be selfish in our flesh and in our spirit. This is why the Bible teaches that we must be able to love our neighbor as ourselves. Even when God brings you out of your sickness, brings you out of poverty, bless you with life, health, and strength, there is always an opportunity to tell somebody how good God has been. We need to stop being so selfish with our blessings. Stop being so selfish with how good God has been to us. Some of us need to just tell somebody that God is still in the blessing business. Somebody needs to testify right now that God brought you up out of the Maori clay, took you, took you all around and was able to place your feet on solid ground. Yes, stop being selfish with your blessings because you never know that your blessings could be a pathway to somebody else's salvation. Somebody just needs to know that Jesus is still alive and well. Somebody just needs to know that faith is real. Somebody just needs to know if he can do it for you, my God can do it for me. See, in, in this text, we revisit a very familiar story, the miraculous blessings of Bartimaeus. Jesus, his disciples, and a crowd was coming down the Jericho Road. And standing along the roadside was Bartimaeus. See, he was standing there begging for money. And the reason he was begging for money was because he was blind. Because of his condition, the only way he could survive, the only way he could make money, the only way he could feed his family was to beg. It got so well, people would call his condition before they called his name. <laughs> he was known as Blind Bartimaeus. It's bad that people will associate you with your, with your condition before they recognize who you are. Mm -hmm. he, and, and here comes Jesus and the crowd Here comes Jesus and his disciples Now blind Bartimaeus didn't see him But he heard 
Mm -hmm. But uh, blind Bartimaeus did not see Jesus. He did not see the crowd, but he heard. See, he had to use what he had. His eyes may have been broken, but his ears were working just fine. And when he heard Jesus was passing by, he called out to him, Jesus, son of David, have mercy, have mercy on me. It is at this point that we realize the heart of Bartimaeus. And if you read it, if you read it too fast, you might have missed Missed too much. He had been begging for money all day long. What he wanted was money. But what he needed was mercy. <laughs> Somebody might have missed that one. He had been begging for money all day long. He needed money to take care of his family. He needed money to take care of himself. And what he wanted was money. But what he needed was mercy. So he cried out to Jesus, Jesus, son of David, have mercy. Have mercy on me. Now, they tell him, the people around, the crowd, the people that knew who he was, told him to be quiet. They believed that Jesus had more pressing issues. They believed that Jesus had somewhere to go, they believed that Jesus was just too important to deal with blind Bartimaeus. But the more they told him to be quiet, the more Bartimaeus yelled loud. He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The Bible said, Jesus, stood still. Bartimaeus hell and Jesus stopped. Ladies and gentlemen, if you feel like Jesus hasn't stopped by your situation, if you feel like Jesus hasn't stopped by your way, if you feel like Jesus hasn't been to your church, if you feel like Jesus hasn't visited you on your job, if you feel like Jesus hasn't come to your home, maybe you need to yell and shout just a little bit louder. Because the Bible teaches that the louder that Bartimaeus yelled, Jesus stopped. Jesus stopped and asked that blind Bartimaeus be brought to him. The people that told him to be quiet now have to make room for him so he can get to Jesus. Once he got to Jesus, Jesus said, what do you want? me to do for you. At this moment, at this very moment now, this man could have asked for anything. He could have asked for anything at this moment. He, he had Jesus right there in the palm of his hand, right there. And Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? Bartimaeus simply said, teacher, I just want some sight. I just want my eyes to work. I just want to be able to see, to see again. Jesus not even touching him, not even rubbing mud on the ground, not even asking him to go wash in the pool. Jesus simply says, your faith has made you well. The Bible says that immediately Bartimaeus received his sight. And ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's the end of the story. But before I leave you today, I need to tell you what caused blind Bartimaeus faith healing. I need to enlighten you today how Bartimaeus was able to allow his faith to lead him to his healing. The first thing we need to understand, the first the first thing you might want to write down is Bartimaeus, he knew who to call. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, see, he heard the people and the people knew who he was. They told him to be quiet. But he wasn't calling out to them. He was yelling out to Jesus. 
My God. See, we must be careful who we're yelling for when we need healing. <laughs> yeah, we must be careful who we call on when we need a miracle in our lives. We must be careful who we allow to come into our circle when there's healing needs to be taking place. And I'm not talking about just any physical healing. I'm talking about some spiritual healing. I, I, we have to be careful when we call those to lay hands upon us. The Bible says that we need to try the spirit by the spirit. The Bible also says you can't let everybody lay hands on you. Facebook is not a hospital. Twitter is not a counselor. And Instagram is not a help center. We got to go and we got to know who we need to call. The reason that Bartimaeus was healed because of his faith, because he knew that he needed to call on Jesus. Can I help about two or three people right now understand some of you right now is in need of a healing. It may be physical, it may be spiritual, it may be financial, it may be in your relationships, but understand your healing will only come through faith and your faith will only come through the power of Jesus Christ. We got to know who to call. When you're going through things, don't pick up the phone. Don't go to Facebook. Don't go to Twitter. You need to go to Jesus. Call on his name. And the Bible says, he'll hear your prayer. And he'll answer. He'll answer your call. So the first thing, the reason P, uh, Bartimaeus was able to be healed by his faith is because he knew who to call. The second reason I truly believe that Bartimaeus was able to be healed by his faith is because he knew what he needed to get what he wanted. Mm -hmm. He knew what he needed to get what he wanted. See, Jesus asked, what do you want from me? Bartimaeus had been there all day long. And when the people would ask him what he needed, he would, he would ask for money. When people asked him what he wanted, he would ask for change. He would ask for money, he would ask for anything they could spare. But when Jesus asked, what do you want from me? He didn't ask for money. He didn't ask for fortune. He didn't ask for fame. He asked that he may see again. He asked for his sight. Because if he can see, he can go get the money. If he can see, he can go get the fortune. If he can see, he can go get the fame. He asked for what he needed. So that he could get what he wanted. If you want a new career, stop asking God to give you the job and ask God to provide you with the resources to get you what you need. If your faith becomes stronger when work is involved, the Bible tells us, yes, that faith without works is dead. And I truly believe that God will give us a measure of faith as long as we're willing to put in the work. The reason that blind Bartimaeus was healed by his faith because when Jesus asked him what he wanted, he gave Jesus the answer of what he needed so he could get what he wanted. Finally, my brothers and sisters, the last reason I truly believe that Bartimaeus was able to allow his faith to play a part in his healing is because his healing did not look like help. Mm -hmm. His healing from Jesus did not look like help. Here it is, Jesus asked him, what can he do for him? Bartimaeus asked for his sight. Jesus said, go, your faith has made you well. And immediately, he gained his sight. The faith that of Bartimaeus, the one that saved him, is because his faith was specific. 
It was faith to know who Jesus was. It was faith that was allowed him to, to be determined to get to Jesus. It was the faith to know to humble himself before Jesus. And it was his faith to tell Jesus what he needed and not what he wanted. His healing started when he held Jesus' name and not when Jesus spoke to him. They, the way he healed Bartimaeus may not have looked like him. And I'm here to tell somebody today that your healing may not be what everyone else's healing may look like. Uh-huh. See, Bartimaeus was just told to go his way and his healing came because of his faith. You don't know that your faith may be a part of your healing and your healing may not look like everybody else's help. Everybody else was able to take a pill or two. Everybody else was able to go to therapy for a couple of days. Everybody else was able to just lay down for a little while. But your healing may not look like their help. So you may have to suffer a little while longer. Mm -hmm. You may have to cry a little bit loud. But your healing resides in your faith and not in somebody else's help. And I'm here to tell somebody that your faith comes from the power of God. I don't know who needs to hear this right now. But please know and understand that Jesus is still in the blessing business. <laughs> please understand that Jesus is still in the miracle working business. <laughs> and I'm just crazy enough to believe <laughs> that the same God that blessed me when I was down <laughs> is the same God <laughs> that can heal me through faith. <laughs> know uh, that your healing is going to come by faith. The doctor may tell you one thing, the nurse may tell you another, but I'm going to tell somebody, hold on to the word of God. Your healing will come by faith. Your spiritual healing will come by faith. Your physical healing will come by faith. Your If you're on your way, keep following him in faith because your faith will make you whole. Your faith will heal you. Your faith will underline you. Your faith will make blind men see. Your faith will make lame legs walk. I'm here to tell somebody that God still can bless you through faith. The Bible teaches us that we cannot even please God without faith. As long as we have faith, God is pleased. I don't know who needs to hear this today, 
Somebody's waiting on a healing right now. Somebody's waiting on a financial healing. Somebody's waiting on a spiritual healing. Somebody's waiting on to heal a relationship or, or to heal some, some physical ailment. But I'm here to tell you that your faith, mm, your faith will make you whole. Your faith is what ignites God to move in your life. Dear God, we thank you right now for this opportunity to express our faith. Dear God, we forgive us for turning to everywhere else. Forgive us for turning to the Facebook and friends and Instagram. And but dear God, our faith comes when we yell out your name. Dear God, our faith comes when we know that you are the one that can heal all of our diseases. That can heal every burden. That can heal every relationship. That can heal every financial downfall. It is our faith, our faith that does the healing. You didn't even have to put your hands on him. Didn't even have to rub mud in his eyes. Didn't even, even have to allow him to go wash in the pool. But dear God, it was his faith. Bartimaeus' faith that allowed him to see immediately. And my prayer today is that you will strengthen our faith so our faith can ignite your movement in our lives. And that blessing will come immediately. We need you now, God. Continue to be with us. Continue to guide us. But most of all, continue to fill us with your grace and your mercy. So our faith may be stronger in you. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name.